Hello everyone, it's Manzen64 here. Welcome back to another episode of Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. Let's go. Alright, now, in the last episode, we uh, defeated Krako. And uh, strangely enough, with the high jump ability. I mean, I like this ability, to, and I love it to death, but it sucks. It just really does. Like, it does not even compare to any of the abilities to in this game. There's something in there. Uh, if we, can we try to get it? Yes. Alright. Of course. My luck. But, alright. Just as a, uh, as a quick uh, reminder, you can't kill cannons. So, the uh, in this level, this is probably your main concern. I haven't played this level in a long time, so I wouldn't really know. Hmm. Please be a secret switch in here. Um, oop, um, there was a light ability there for some reason. And, hmm. I'm pretty sure something's down here. Well, yes, there is. And, let's see. We also got a door here, and there is a switch. And it get, opens up a bomb, really. Not that I really care. It's a bomb, really. I don't like that. Alright. It doesn't really matter what route you take, but... Um... Eh, I mean, you'll end up going to the same place. And these are all the same places. You, you'll just end up going into them by different rooms. It doesn't really matter. And we get up to um, the third level. That's not bad. We got, uh, we got level two up into us. And we also got a, a copy museum. And tornado. I'll take that. Alright. How about we do that bomb rally first? Let's just get that out of the way. Alright, let's see if I'm still good with this. Hmm. I haven't played this in so while uh, for a while because I already recorded like a bunch of episodes before I did this. So, well, yeah, I've recorded three episodes on like the same day, and then I took a break from it so I could continue with the Minish Cap uh, uh, Let's Play, and then um, just like edit this as I went. Not that it's really that much edited in the first place. Alright. Let's see where this goes. Oh. That was pretty simple. And we get three level ups because of it. I'm not complaining. And I should still have my tornado ability. Oh yes indeed. Now let's continue into level 2 of Yogurt Yard. It definitely looks like it has a different aspect. It looks more like mountain level now. As before when it looked like a better cloud level. But I guess it was just like introducing um the clouds to um like the mountain level. I mean it made sense, we just came from clouds. So it'd be like a little thing showing that we just got here. But no other place does that, so it's just a hunch. Or it's Yogurt Yard is just a bunch of other stuff mixed to one. I don't know. I, c I don't know what it is. <sighs> it's very cold today while I'm recording. And I can't put on my heater because, well, it makes some, some very much background noise. And I, don't, and I don't like that. So, I have to suffer. How about we go up here? And we got bonkers! How about we fight you, bonkers? Oh, no, no, no. I ain't losing that tornado ability. Alright. And... Oof. Tornado, like I said, can be a bit of a kamikaze thing, but... Since you're mostly in the air when it happens, it doesn't really matter. And... Alright. I hit him twice that time, which is very good. 
All right, let's get rid of the tornado ability and take the hammer ability because the hammer ability is far superior. All right, let's see where this leads. Because there has to be something with the hammer ability. And of course, it's just gone. Why are there so many wallabies? Wait. There's a one up there, but it's not really needed. I'm just gonna continue. Alright, where does this lead us? Almost to number one. Alright, I'm getting there. And now we got number three, and we got a an air grit, uh, grind. How about we do that? Alright. Let's see if I'm good at this. Usually I suck. Okay. So far, so good. Usually, whenever I say that, though, something happens. I haven't hit any um, spikes yet, so that's good. And I'm far from a uh, uh, world record keeper. Alright. Ooh, I actually did pretty well. I got there two seconds before anyone else did. That's pretty good, and we also got three more one ups. I'm probably never gonna get an actual game over in this game. I mean, not that it's bad that there's a lot of mini games. It just seems that they're very too rewarding. Except for the samurai one, because Meta Knight, I swear to god, is undefeatable. Anyways, let's start flying up. And is there anything over here? Nope. Always gotta keep an eye out for those secrets. Because they're always around. Alright. I feel like there's a boss coming up. I'll take this wheel. Let's go uh, for a ride. Oof. I don't know about you, but that made me very, like, cautious. And spikes still hurt. So, remember. Don't go with the spikes. I think you can still jump while you're in real form, so... Nope, you can't jump. Hold on, let's see if I can actually grind on it, because I did try jumping. I'm pretty sure you can't. Nope! And it's just gone. And I wanted that spark. Dang it. it. appears to be another place where you would have to use the wheel ability. And who? something here. Well, yes there is. Can't get it yet, but right here. Ooh, I'll get that. Thank you. Oof. I got a bit close. Okay. The this this guy seems more suspicious. Suspicious. Nothing there. Okay. And I press B. Wonderful. No, oh, well, there's nothing here, so I can just continue on. I'll take the stone anyways, because hey, it's stone. And I lost it. Whatever. I wasn't about to go chase it, because that's usually what gives me more trouble. Alright, Parasol is actually pretty good here. Like, it gives you a bit more control in the air. And if you press down, you'll just go down as normal. Of course, doing that, in order to show it off, I kind of did lose the ability. Not that it's really that bad. I mean, it doesn't really do much. I mean, I think you can only do one thing with it in this game, so it's not really that bad. Let's see. Is there anything? And nope, doesn't seem like it. Let's get burning. Oof. Okay, that's that was not f even fair. Hmm. Wow! Don't don't ever attempt this without burning. <sighs> For some reason, I didn't float. 
I'm I'm not even gonna question it. Alright. Alright, so let's do a jump and then do it. Nope, didn't work. I don't know what they were expecting you to do. Because that stretch is clearly too big. But, alright, let's get Spark. And fly over. And Meta Knight. And of course, we, we don't fight him. Anyways, this guy is the same as always. So, nothing really to be worried about. I'm surprised it's only Axe members this time. I should probably be speaking during this part. Probably. But, ooh, ball. And it's gone. Hmm. Ball would've been a bit cool. I'm pretty sure there's a secret around here that you do have to drop down for, but I forget where. I think it's here. Oop, nope. But there's a secret right there. Hmm. We got a Maximato and some s sparks. I can continue from there, or I can continue from there. Of course. Of course I lost it. I always do. Let's go down here. Okay. And, oof. Oh boy. Oh, I killed something. I d I'd even know I could kill something like that. The more you know, I guess. Alright. Yep, there's definitely a hidden switch around here somewhere. That's... That's not very good. I'm pretty sure that one would have been the throw ability too. But that's just my estimated guess. Alright, let's just go. Let's see if I can speed run this. I should probably look around for any secrets. But yeah. Let's use the warp star and continue. Like I said, the secrets you don't really need to do. You don't need to unlock every space in the game. And I'm not a completionist, so I'm not... Not that it will be a waste of your time. Because there's not much time to waste. Alright, we got the Fire Lion, and he's dead. He, I believe he got her gifts Fire Burning. I forget which one in this game. And... Let's just continue. That's pretty simple. Do we have another? I don't think so. Let's just go. And well, we're done. What the? No ability. No burning. No burning. Let's see what we can get in the second one. I kind of want to get back and get that UFO ability because I love the UFO ability. It's so fun. It's basically a beam and an upgraded la uh, laser ability. Who doesn't want that? All right. Anyway, let's see where this takes us. To death. It takes us to death. Better. Oof, that got close. Alright, now let's actually do this. What happened? Oof. Did I miss something? I don't 
think I did. Did I? Hmm. It's questionable. Hmm. Okay. I know there's something there. Yep. However, we can't break through that. What we need is hammer. And we would have got that switch. It's disappointing. But we don't have the hammer, so we can't do that. And so let's just continue. It's very disappointing. I wanted to see what's in there. Or what the where does it lead? I think it gives us the arena. We got the boss. I definitely do not want to fight this boss with with the wheel ability. Not, not because I know what it is, just because I don't like the wheel ability. Alright, but let's go. And who? I remember this guy. Tornado should be good enough match for him. He's not much of a trouble. Just keep attacking him. He'll shoot the occasional missile. But nothing really will happen. So, you don't have to worry. Okay, so let's just hit you. Multiple times. If you're going to do this... It, without a copy ability, like I was saying then it can be a bit tough because you'll have to wait for him to shoot out oh, missiles and at points he'll end up going up which then he can um cause oh my god you to die yeah is what i was trying to say all right the missiles do actually a pretty good amount of damage so Sweet. For another missile. Boop. Alright. That did a pretty good amount of damage. It's going down now. Also, if he goes down, and I believe... Just don't go off screen, basically. <sighs> wow. This dude is not tough at all, but if you're... He's, but well, he's very tedious. If you don't have a copy ability. <laughs> wow, this is kind of getting boring. Like he barely even attacks you. Like the only thing you have to worry about is not moving fast enough and missing missiles. I mean, you, you're probably, you're most likely not going to bump into it because, well, he just moves fast enough. Alright. Two more hits and he should be dead. And if I die here by some sort of reason, I'm bringing a copy ability next time. Because, jeez. I'm pretty sure he's going to go up now. Alright, I guess that's the only move you have to worry about, him going up and then going down. Okay, what? No, that was just not fair. Alright. I can't believe what made you guys seal through all of that. That was just not good. Stone is probably another bad idea to use for this boss, but... What? Correction is a very bad idea to use for this boss. Alright. Hmm. Well. Let's go to the copy museum. No, I jump. Fuck, I jump. Hmm. 
backdrop would basically just be the same fight over, so no. No. We're gonna do sword. And we also have a warp star there, so we could probably just warp to where we were before. Alright, we got Soren now. Now this boss should be a breeze. A spring breeze. If I do say so myself. Alright. I think you get the uh, warp star if you get everything in, in, that, in that one area, but I could be wrong. Alright. But, all it does is really save you trouble of going through the next and previous season. So, it's n n it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Huh. I see. So, yeah, right there it shows that I have not completed it fully. Apparently I haven't completed any of them fully. I, because it would always become white whenever I completed a level com a completely. All right. Nope. Nope. We're not. Le we're not leaving that. <sighs> yep. Not hard at all. Just tedious. So don't use stove for him. Don't use tornado for him. Don't use waiting for him. Use a sword. And we got level 6, Orange Ocean. Oof. Level 6 already. Probably nearing endgame. Can't wait. Alright. That's, I think I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day.